I think short term this evening, things generally are going to be pretty favorable for us. We have this light rain that's moving through. You can see a few of the raindrops still left on the lens of our Sherman Chevrolet Cadillac Tower Cam. Clouds have kept us cool overall. We are staying in the low 70s and again, short term, not expecting much in terms of severe weather, but storms have been able to fire off along the dry line out west. I'll show you that in a second. First, though, here's a look right now at who's seeing rain. It's mainly along the Red River now moving from Grayson County. County into Bryan County with some patches of locally heavy rainfall. Those will be coming into Durant and still pushing off to the northeast, but all of this not severe, just rain that we have to deal with for the next few hours. This area out to the west that we've been watching for potential development has now started forming thunderstorms, and those mainly along the dry line are quite a ways from us in Texoma. It's going to take a long time for those to get here. So after nine o'clock is what we're thinking. The timing wise, there's still a level one and a level two risk for severe weather, and that's if those storms I just showed you can hold together and make it here. We are expecting two rounds of thunderstorms. The second round arrives overnight and could last all the way through about sunrise Tuesday morning, and that's why we still have a severe weather threat in place for Tuesday earlier in the day. So 8 p.m. tonight through about 7 a.m. Tuesday up to golf ball size hail. 60 to 70 miles per hour for the winds and the tornado threat stays on the low side. I think the flooding threat also stays on the low side, but I'll show you the timing. Just showers the next few hours. Here's eight o'clock. Those storms out west I showed you a little bit ago now moving in a little bit closer to Texoma, but still several hours away and data suggesting that those kind of fall apart as they near here closer towards about 10 o'clock. But as the Pacific cold front moves in overnight, we're going to start to get some thunderstorm development pushing through with that and some storms pulsing up and down for most of the overnight and most of Tuesday morning, mainly with a hail threat, but we will watch for any spin up tornadoes among the leading edge of that line as it surges east. Once we get through Tuesday morning, Wednesday looks great, partly cloudy mid 80s, but Thursday another chance for storms possible as temperatures even near the 90s by the afternoon. The map doesn't want to load, but that's going to be along the cold front that we are expecting storms to be moving in primarily early Thursday during the afternoon and evening with more storms on the way heading into Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow morning temperatures going to be in the 60s with afternoon highs staying in the 80s and a look at that 7 day forecast sponsored by Get Roofed. We have 80s again Wednesday and Thursday that cold front Thursday night again Friday night cooler by the weekend with 60s in place and then some sunshine and rain backing off heading into next Monday guys.